okay, I've gotten ready for the day and um, you know, October 1st pulled out the turtleneck. I'll have to show you my full outfit. I'm not gonna show you in the bathroom because my countertop is covered in paintbrushes and I'm embarrassed at how messy it is. I'll show you in the full length mirror. I got fully ready like hair, makeup. This is only like the second time I've done this since March, but so embarrassing. Can you see my lashes? I thought I would do them today. And when I tell you, I know they look bad. This one was like two times as long. I mean it, it was like so long. So I had the brilliant idea to trim it. And that was a terrible idea because you can see how janky it looks so I'm not gonna film with them looking like these but Jake and I need to go to Target I'll just get a couple more packs of false lashes and I actually have a zoom interview next week that will be aired on TV and the woman today we had a phone call like to prep me and she recommended that I wear a lot more makeup than I would in real life which makes sense because I have filmed another time for TV where they like did my makeup and it was so heavy and I was like so worried about it. And then when I watched the footage back, literally couldn't even tell. So I also want some false lashes for that cause that'll really pop on camera, I think. And so I guess I'll go to Target like this and I'll just wear my glasses. Here's my full outfit or should we say fall outfit? I guess I've become a fall girl. It really crept up on me, you know? Didn't see that one coming. I actually love this outfit. These are three of my favorite pieces in my whole closet. So I got this sweater at Lila Market. They're one of my retailers in Old Town Scottsdale. And I refer my customers to them a lot because they have the widest selection of my art prints and they actually have a beautiful wall. So you walk in and like all the prints are arranged and there's like 50 different ones. It's fun for me a little bit because I don't often see that much of my art in one place on display. It's usually more like, you know, in progress in my studio. But today they actually launched their website online. So if you're looking for a fun boutique, they don't just carry art. They have clothes and jewelry and gifts and a lot of cards. Um, they have my exclusive candle that I collabed with them on. Now that they have an online store, it's fun because I can share and anyone can shop there. So you should go check them out and I looked at their site today and they do have two of my pieces available online which are my mugs. I have this adorable skirt. I got this this summer and when I tell you I wore it every other day, I did. It is so versatile. The fit is so beautiful. It's lined, high-waisted, just a dream. And it's actually, I think the reason it flows so beautifully is it's a tiered skirt. So if you can see, it almost has like a little lettuce trim or lettuce hem and i've been seeing this blogger i follow link to different tiered skirts like this and i'm gonna try a few of them and they're super flattering because they cinch you tight at the waist you know so this is from a boutique called apricot lane i got it in stillwater minnesota um and i found out that that boutique is kind of like a franchise so it's not necessarily like a super small business but um, I think it's cool that women can like franchise their own boutique. And lastly, what are these called? Freebird boots, which I bought and then found out later on are owned by Steve Madden. It's like their own boot brand that is kind of rustic. And I love these because they lace up in the back and I have pretty strong <laughs> calves. And that's why I chose these because I knew I'd have some flex and they fit really really awesome they stay up i'm ready to go nowhere except for target <laughs> it's been so long since i went anywhere that i forgot my mask i had to run back inside and i have a clean one that matches my outfit perfectly <laughs> jake's mom made this it's like a really beautiful orange neutral one this is cute for fall we're gonna actually pick up jake at work i haven't really been going anywhere other than like taking walks because jake's been riding his bike to work so i don't have to drive him we have one car that we share which works really well for us. And today he'll load his bike in the car. Oh, and while I was driving, I took off the false lashes. I thought the glasses were hiding it and I, I wasn't getting away with it, so I pulled them off. Okay, here he is. Bye. Bye. We're just kidding again. As promised, I wanted to tell you how the Girl Scout presentation went and I just kind of reflected on it. It's the next day. It was really wonderful and it really set my spirits like high and today i kind of like rode that all day they were just like so sweet and engaged and we did do the drawing portion which i think was fun like when you're that young 
you know, it's hard to sit still, but they were like so patient. And then when we did the drawing portion, they were really engaged and they all held up their drawings on the screen, which was really cool. And I'm happy to share my experience in that way because when I do events or I meet a client or a customer who tells me that they're child is always drawing or is really creative or paints a lot i always try to tell the parents that like that's so awesome and like to keep encouraging it because my parents always encouraged my creativity they never sorry i've been looking at the viewfinder i need to look here my eyes were just tired so i'm like zoning out my parents always encouraged my creativity and it ended up serving me into college and then becoming my career and even if you don't make it your career it's so valuable because creativity is you know so stimulating for your mind and it can be relaxing and meditative it's really a gift it has so many wonderful things that come along with it so i always tell parents like that's so great like keep encouraging them you never know like where it will lead them so to be able to actually put that into action and present for the girl scouts was very very special um i need to go to bed but i am so productive in the evening i cannot break that habit from architecture school like literally eight o'clock i'm like let's go baby and i just got like a big chunk of my to-do list done from like 8 to 12 30 like i don't know just with covid like having no plans in the evening and having free time i feel like not guilty working at night i'm like why not it's something to do if i'm feeling that kind of energy and productiveness i'm gonna run with it you know i should go to bed but today it's october 1st so the pumpkins were released in animal crossing i'm having a spooky vibe already and my friends and i are texting about how we're like making our houses spooky and our islands and i didn't even think about making my house spooky but then my friend said she changed hers and I'm gonna do the same. So I'm gonna make my house like black and orange or like orange and purple. That This game is so cute. It literally makes me so happy. Like I've decided that video games are a form of self-care and they are like meditation. They are so fun and relaxing and adorable. This is what I'm working on right now. So last night I filmed my sit down talking video. I wanted to have a little intro video for coming back to YouTube because it had been so long. So I just edited that video and now I'm working on the thumbnail. Being back on YouTube now, I am wanting to incorporate more hand lettering into not only my thumbnails but also like little captions and stuff as they're needed but i'm going to start with hand lettering for this thumbnail and i've been really enjoying using the airdrop feature more and i don't know why i didn't use this more before but i just airdrop the photo to my ipad there she is and then in procreate i will open that picture and then i'll letter on top of it on a new layer I just made a little purchase for myself. Sometimes I feel like I shop a lot, but it's just because I'm ordering product a lot. It feels like shopping in a way because I'm excited to unbox the product, but today I bought something that was just for me. So I'm on Sunita. This is a athletic wear fitness brand out of Arizona. It's women owned. I love that I have found a small business option for athletic wear that is really high quality and functional. Today they had six items that were $20 each. And I have this Ava crop top in two colors. I have the navy. It's really cute, this crisscross back. But I also have the white. I love that one. My best friend gave me that one for Christmas. I am amazed at how much it pairs with different things. Actually, that cheetah print skirt I wore yesterday, that looked really good with both the navy or the white. That was like my go-to outfit all summer. And then they have this like loyalty program. So I had a 15% off coupon in there that I used. And I might have a code. I think I do. Yeah, I have a 10% referral code. So I'll link that in the description box. It's just like 
the referral code that every customer has. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's so funny. I've actually had a, a couple friends ask me if I'm sponsored by them because of this post. Let me try and find it. When Jake and I went to Saguaro National Park, I was wearing my favorite Sunita leggings that my best friend also gifted me. Jake and I took like a lot of cute photos that day because he had just gotten the new iPhone that had the wide angle lens and it was my first time trying out that lens and I was just blown away. And now I have that phone too because my phone actually fell out of my pocket on a roller coaster at Six Flags at my friend's bachelorette weekend in January or February. So this is the picture so you can see. These are like some of the fun pictures we took with his wide angle lens. Oh, that one was really cool. So we took this picture and I just like tagged Sunita in it and they started using it for their ads <laughs> randomly. So now I think people think that like I'm a sponsored person with them because I have like talked about how much I love the brand, but I truly love it because it's fun that it's local to Arizona, a small woman owned business, but it's just kind of funny. This fridge is so loud. I would love to vlog more in the kitchen. And I still do, like I try to just like let it not bother me. But if it was quiet in here, it would be really fun. <laughs> Actually, I guess you guys wouldn't know this because I didn't vlog for so long this year, but you know, in January, I shared that I had gotten my KitchenAid mixer that Jay got me for Christmas. It was the biggest surprise. He actually got a really good deal on it, but I've always associated that with being like a wedding gift, like a big purchase. So it was so sweet of him to give me that. I have used it so much. We've gotten our money's worth out of it like almost already, I'm not kidding. Like since having it for self-isolation, I have made so much bread, I have made so much pizza dough. Pizza dough is what I make the most with it. Actually, I'm gonna link that recipe below because it's so easy and very good. And I found a second pizza recipe also, but it's a deep dish recipe. You don't even need to have a mixer because you hand knead the dough, but you knead it like three times, literally. Like the recipe says, knead it a few times. And it was published by my favorite blog ever, A Beautiful Mess. That's been my favorite blog for like 10 or 12 years. Anyway, you wouldn't know this because I haven't talked about it since January, but I've used the mixer a ton and I have really become someone who loves to cook and bake. And I do it all the time. And it's so shocking to me. It was never part of my personality. Where was I going with this? Oh, I would love to do more like baking and like cooking content. Not like content like in a serious way, but just like incorporate that into my vlogs. And I probably will. But the fridge being so loud kind of turns me off to do that because I feel like it's not gonna sound good for you. Yesterday when I got fully ready for filming, like dressed, hair, makeup, I just felt more productive the rest of the day. I think that always proves to be true. This piece is from Nordstrom BP years ago. And the other day when I wore it on Instagram, a lot of people messaged asking me where it was from. It's no longer available, but I did find it on Poshmark. And then I kind of went on a rabbit hole and I was like, this corset detail is what makes it so cool. And I wondered if I could find more like corset detail clothes that were still like casual. And I actually found a t-shirt that was also from Nordstrom BP that was like a yellow band tee with corseting right here. And I ended up getting it on Poshmark and it was like $9. Hey friends, I'm editing this vlog right now, having a little cozy coffee editing session. And I wanted to wrap up the vlog and just say, I'm sorry that there wasn't a ton of art in this video. With my vlogs, they will mostly be studio vlogs. So in the next one, you can expect crafting and business and art, but I'm also trying to incorporate my life into the vlogs because I think that's what's fun with YouTube and longer form content compared to Instagram is that I just get to share a little bit more. So I'll be sure to do a better balance in the future. I'm still kind of getting into the swing of vlogging again, but I just reviewed all my footage for my future vlogs and it's very art and business heavy. I hope you enjoyed this one though. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.